Hi viewers, it's the handy dandy husband coming through again to you. Today we're going to do a quick unboxing video for the Nikon D5600. This is a package deal offered by Costco and we purchased it today on April the 29th and this uh, particular camera is on sale. As you can see the original price was $999.99. It was discounted $310 and with the eco fee uh, total came to $773. Alright and let's get on with the unboxing. All right, This is the uh, box as it came from Costco. I'm just gonna open it up. You've got your 90 day concierge service provided and also a 90 day return policy with Costco. And here is the bag. And the box with the D5600. All right, uh, this kit comes with the uh, Nikon 18 to 55 millimeter lens. I'm just gonna turn the box over. And the accessories that it says that are included are the strap in the box, a rechargeable lithium ion battery, the user manual, and of course the warranty. On this side of the box is just some of the features. It has Wi-Fi certified and it's Bluetooth compatible. And we're gonna first uh, open up the bag. Now this is the first time I purchased a camera kit with an included bag. So I'm interested to see what the quality of the bag is. Here you have the tag, durable material, padded construction, removable padded dividers, and large zippered front accessory. Just the overall look of the bag. I like the fact that it has the feet on the bottom. The material is a nylon and frankly I'm quite impressed with it. The clasps on the front are robust, not flimsy. Uh, the strap does leave a little bit to be desired. As you can tell it's plastic hook and it's got a uh, clip which is also plastic. I'm not too fond of this simply because I have a feeling that over time this area here will crack and break. It is plastic after all. But this shoulder pad itself is really nice. It appears it'll be very cushioned. I'm just going to take the strap off so it doesn't make too much noise while I'm speaking. On the flap end you have one zippered pocket that's got a net. On the lid itself, you have another zippered pocket. You have a zippered pocket on the side, which is uh, opens up to a, quite a cavernous area. I guess this would be for your lens or your body. And another zippered pocket on the other side for another accessory. The front area opens up and it's got two netted compartments and again another zippered netted area. Right now I'm quite impressed with the number of compartments that this uh, case provides. I'm just going to lift this flap up. Everything seems to be detachable. So this is one flap. Here's another flap. This is to divide this area here. And these flaps Okay, I see. This flap here covers this compartment here that's in between the two outer compartments. And, oh yeah, and even this area here can be separated. They're all velcroed on. This, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with. This is a, this is a nicely designed, nicely thought out bag. Uh, you don't have the dangers of putting 
all your gear into one bag and then having a difficult time accessing the, the gear that you need and the gear doesn't hit or smash into uh, itself. I'm just gonna put it back together. Very nicely designed. Like I said, this came as a kit, so let's put this away and see what's in the box itself. Here's the box, let's open it up. Comes with uh, the warranty and the instruction manual, I believe. Rechargeable lithium ion battery. This is a charger for the lithium ion battery. I like the fact that the plug clips out and it can be carried inside your your case very uh, neatly without any uh, items, sharp items projecting out of it. Here's a close-up of the battery. You see the model number and the type there, 7.2 volts. There's a plastic cap that houses the contact area. Very happy about this plastic cap. Means that the contact area will remain clean and debris free. I'm just going to put these papers aside and take out the body. Put the box aside. Here's the body of the camera. Surprisingly light, but very easy to hold. I've never used this camera, so we'll probably do a update part two video on this. It's got a tiltable screen. Now, there was a, another camera model that was on sale as well, uh, and it was slightly more expensive, but with GPS, um, and had a slightly larger screen of 3.2 inches, and this is just three inches. Not a significant difference. card reader goes in here. This is where the HDMI cable would be inserted. You have an outlet for the USB cord, the microphone, and looks to be a uh, remote shutter switch. And here would be your battery compartment. All right, and we're gonna now move on to the lens. Very nicely wrapped, nicely protected. I really like the fact that this cap comes at the end here to protect the lens. It doesn't screw on, it's just friction fit. Very robust lens cap. There's the zoom function on there. All right, moving through. Box is almost empty. Now we have the strap. I'm just gonna take the strap out to see if it's any more robust than the strap that came with the actual camera bag. This, this strap is more robust in the sense that the nylon will be a lot more durable than the plastic that's on the shoulder bag. Um, however, the pad on this uh, strap is not very uh, significant, so it might cause issues if you were to wear it for a long period of time. All right, final thoughts. Uh, the body is lighter than I expected. Um, I think that's an advantage considering that I was expecting it to be quite heavy. 
Uh, I like the battery charger and the battery. We'll have to test it and see what the battery life is. The shoulder strap on the bag, I'm not too impressed with, uh, considering that it is plastic, but it can always be replaced. And that's probably what I'll do, convert it to metal, um, along with the, um, uh, the, the brackets here on the sides of the bag. But overall, the bag itself has lots of room. It's really well designed. Uh, and I strongly recommend getting a bag like this for uh, camera purposes. Okay, thanks for watching guys, and I hope this uh, video was helpful to you and gives you some information on what you'll find in the package and kit provided by Costco Canada for the D560018-55 VR kit. And uh, see you guys next time, and maybe we'll do a part two on how this uh, camera has performed after a few weeks of usage. Thank you, bye-bye.